I would be uh, a big elephant misbehaving. I'd be firing him out of a cannon. I will throw myself out of his cannon and then jump on the trampoline and now I'm trees actually. Monty Python's flying circus. That would be my ultimate like uh, circus act because I remember this step here that did the party, beaches and caves and stuff like that, you know. And this is the first time we've kind of like settled anywhere. I really take care of the lineups in terms of like uh, music continuation from the beginning to the end. So like it's always underground. The sound is immaculate, and they let you kind of go in any direction with the music. The sound system here is pretty on point, so you gotta think of that going in. The bass is like 10 times bigger than it is at a lot of clubs. Somebody wrote me a note tonight that I think was supposed to be in English. They said something along, that bash and Dyna Bass and this time feeling it. I think it was supposed to be I'm feeling the bass. The boys are just genuinely good people and fun to play for, right? And I think that's part of the vibe of Sankey's as well. It's about having fun, serious about music, but being lighthearted at the same time. All the crowd, they feel, it feels like they're very focused. It feels like they come there with a purpose to actually experience the DJ they come to see. Not stand around and talking to other people and drinking. They come there with one purpose and that's listening to music. In the basement, the DJ cabin is just like the right level where you're really like connected to the crowd. The sound system downstairs is one of the best on the island and it really gets the people going all the time as well. And it kind of gets us to play different here, you know? playing on this island, you know? But I, I look forward to going back to Sankey's and I hear rumors that they're opening one in New York. Now that would be an adventure as well. That's, that could be pretty serious. 